We're doing a series on uploading your plugin to the WordPress.org repo. But before we actually do that upload, I'd like to take a look at some important files with you. When hosting on .org, one of the most important files in your entire plugin is your readme.txt file. Here you can see I have my PHP file and also my readme file. If you look at the Developer Center page on WordPress.org, down at the bottom is a section on readme files. And there's an example here. We'll go through this. If this is your first time, I highly recommend you actually copy this file and replace its information with your own. It'll make it a lot easier to avoid mistakes. This file uses Markdown to mark up its text. At the top, we have a line with three equals on either side. That means that it is the primary header of this document. Then within that, we have some header information. The contributors should be a list of WordPress.org user IDs. There's an optional donate link, optional tags, requires at least is a WordPress version number, and so is tested up to. But stable tag is the stable version number of your own plugin. Then there's the license and the license URI. And then there is a short description of the plugin. Next you'll see a line surrounded by two equals. This means that it is a subheader. And here we have a description. Bulleted lists are made by placing asterisks at the beginning of lines. You can write almost anything you like in the description. Installation is pretty boilerplate. Change the file names to your own and you're pretty set. For frequently asked questions, the questions have a single equals on either side, and answers have none. Screenshots, the actual images, go in a folder called Assets and are called screenshot dash and then a number. And the number corresponds to the order of your descriptions here in this file. So this is the description for screenshot dash 1.png. And this is for screenshot dash 2.png. And here's your change log, upgrade notice, and an arbitrary section for just whatever you wish. And then there's some descriptions here of how to use Markdown. Those obviously would not make it into your plugin. Now something that's interesting about this file, it's the file that is actually used to create this menu right here, as well as the text on each of its pages. So this line was surrounded by single equals, and this line by none, and so on. If you have a problem with the text on your plugin page, it simply comes from your readme.txt file, and you can change it. In our next video, we'll take a look at actually uploading your plugin.